Are women liars? Well, yeah, we kind of know they are, but they don't mean to be. Let's look at what romance novels reveal about what women really want and crave. Welcome to Just the Tip. So if you ask a woman what she wants in a man, she'll typically say she wants a confident man with a sensitive side or a guy who has a nice personality. Definitely no bad boys. We're all rolling our eyes. I am too. Because what women say they want and what they truly desire and respond to are not the same things. Let's look at the facts. About 47 million romance novels are sold every year. Um, that's a lot. Men aren't reading these unless they're looking for tips. But they're kind of cheesy, so maybe don't go there. And what's more, Fifty Shades of Grey sold over 100 million copies alone. It's the best-selling novel of a decade, and I talked about that one in another video. But the common denominator is romance novels aren't about submissive men who do whatever women want them to, whatever women say. They're about manly guys who sweep us off our feet. But media tells you that being a man is a bad thing. It's somehow toxic. You're inherently bad just for being a dude. And then you feel guilty just for being you, your innate masculine you. Well, I say forget what media and modern feminists are trying to brainwash you with. It hasn't even worked on the modern feminists. Unless she's playing for the other team and then it's a hopeless case anyway. You don't want that one. You can't have that one. Just like no matter how much the media tells you to like her personality and ignore her physicality, what she looks like, that's not going to happen. You just can't do it unless you already know her for a long time. But initially, you're going to be influenced by what she looks like. Just the same. As much as women are told that they should like submissive nice guys, the truth is women crave masculine men. We don't want soy boys who cater to our every whim. We want men who make us feel like women. And here's where a lot of guys get stuck. It's all the gaslighting from the media and the wrong advice from women. Watch my video on when never to listen to a fish on how to fish. A lot of men aren't sure how to be men in this modern dating world. And if you watch my videos, I know you're a good guy and you deserve to be treated better. If you think you need to change who you are, because of what they're trying to brainwash you with, they're wrong, you're wrong. No, don't go that way. Unless of course, you have become the Zoe boy who's not successful with women. If it's not working, you might have to switch things up. But if you want a feminine woman who might be out of touch with her femininity because of what she's been told she should like, then you need to do the opposite of what the media is telling you, the opposite of what the modern feminists are telling you. You actually need to be a more extreme version of the real masculine you. This doesn't mean being a jerk, but it does mean being authentically who you are. And if you feel masculine at your core and you want to feel masculine and be masculine, then you need to display that in the world, especially around women you want to be attracted to. By, by women you want to attract. Because when you are living the life as the unique person you are, you are actually living in your masculine energy. Authenticity is attractive. It's super sexy. So stop being beat down by what the media tells you and what modern feminists tells you, tell you. It's okay to be a masculine man. Masculinity is not automatically toxic. Indeed, it's actually the opposite. Masculine men protect women, adore women. They don't simp, watch my video on simping, but they actually respect women and women benefit from it as much as men do. The masculine man in you brings out the feminine woman in her and soon you'll be the masculine man in her. And if you want help figuring out what your masculine man wants out of life and help finding that inner masculine, most attractive you that's unique, but at your best self, the kind of man all those women are fantasizing about in their novels, it's time to get my Wake Up To Love program. 
fair warning, there is a lot of homework that will get you out of your comfort zone. Life begins outside your comfort zone, but it'll get you there in bite-sized pieces that are easy to digest, so manageable. Also, fair warning, it's not a pickup artist program, but if you do all the work in the program, it will be easier to have any length of relationship, even if they're short term. And even if you prefer to stay single, it'll still give you the steps to take to make the best out of single life. If you don't wanna be in the same place you are now, next year, or in three, five, or 10 years, then it's time to make some changes. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Nothing changes if you don't take steps to change. So if you're ready for change and ready to be the kind of man women fantasize about, then click the link and get my Wake Up To Love program today. Thanks for being here. God bless.